Hi, I'm Michael. I'm Nash. And we are back with a brand new game called Factor Flood. Now, to play this game you need a deck of cards. We've got just one to ten in the cards, so we've taken out all the other ones. And paper and pencil for each person playing. Now to start with, each player needs to have three target numbers on their sheet of paper. And to generate them, you're just going to flip over two cards, and then naturally you're going to write what the product of those numbers is. So 7, 10 gives us 70. Beautiful, Nash. 6 and 5. Equals 30. Yep. And see how Nash is spacing them out across the page, which is perfect. And 1 and 10. 10. Okay. So they're oh. Nash's target numbers. Very good. Now I'll generate mine. Once you've done that, you're going to put those 12 cards back into the deck, shuffle it up, and then you'll be ready to start playing. Okay, now to start off playing the actual game, you're, you need to turn over four cards, and then you're going to take it in turns. Now you can choose if you want to go first or second, and you're trying to give cards to the other player. So the winner of the game is going to be the person at the end with the fewest number of cards. Now, Nash, do you want to go first or second? Second. Okay, so now I'm looking for either a, a factor of one of these numbers or a pair of factors. Now, I've actually got a pair of factors here. Five sixes, a 30. So, Nash, underneath you're going to write nice and clear five times six. Beautiful. And now Nash keeps those two cards. We replace these two cards here. And now it's Nash's turn. One into four. So one times blank. And that one comes around here to me. Okay, my turn. I can't do anything. So now if I can't do anything, I need to pass. So now it goes over to Nash. So Nash, I'll pass. Four, one times four. Okay. I take that card. All right, now I still can't do anything, so I pass again. Eight times blanking two. Oh no, nine times eight into 72. Oh, good boy. I wasn't going to tell you that. All right, nine times eight into 72. So back to me. And I'll put the seven on the 10 times seven. Back to you, Nash. Well, Nash is thinking, just to be clear, now that we've got one times four here, I can't then use that equation again. So nine's been linked there. Nine can only go there once. All right, Nash, have you got one? Six into... Uh... 27, wait up, what was, oh yeah, six, 72. Right? So six times something equals 72. Now that's another really good one because obviously six twelves equals 72. We're not going to have a 12 card come out of the deck, but Nash can still put that there. Six is still a factor of 72. So we'll, we'll, this spot here, this is never going to get filled in, but that's okay. He can still put that there. All right, Nash, my turn. You're going to pass? I don't know if you had to. Okay, so six wouldn't work. Nine wouldn't work. And seven, seven wouldn't work. Yes, you had to pass. Okay, now do I? Now this could be good, Nash. Hopefully this is. So six won't work for me. Nine doesn't work for me. Seven. So now we've had two passes in a row. So in this scenario, these four cards go into the discard pile. And we have four new cards come up. And it's back to Nash's turn because I just passed. And the play will continue until the deck gets uh, diminished down to zero. So you will have some cards eventually ending up over here. Pass. Okay. Oh, but you passed pretty quickly. Okay. All right. Let me see if I can do anything. So 10. Oh, yeah. I can do ten, three times 10. 
Bye. So I will do two times blank over there. I'll do two times. Now hold on, hold on. And now guys, this is now where we reach the end of the game. So last card here, we finish. I'll do two. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So we fi we're going to finish these four cards. And once we finish them, we're then working out the Two winner. times anything. On where? There. Oh, it has to be there. <laughs> okay. So I get that. So then what can I do? The eight doesn't go anywhere. The three doesn't go anywhere. And the eight doesn't go anywhere. So they go in the discard pile. Okay, so now Nashi, how do we work out the winner? Um, you count your cards and whichever person has the least amount of cards wins. Let's do that. So it's a draw. Okay, so that is our back to flood. Now the piece of paper is really crucial because you need to keep recording your equations as you go. So that way you're not gonna be doubling up in the equations. And a good question we didn't highlight there, but a good question is to ask as you're going along, like if you say four times something, what would that something be? They don't have to know, but it's a good question to be asking. Okay, we hope you enjoy our back to flood. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.